What up, Harn Squad? Today, we got new mini tins. I'll be opening up all five of these things today. But before we do, to help support the channel, if you can, hit that thumbs up button. It's a good workout. Thumbs up button. And get this video to 7,000 likes. I appreciate the support. As always, if you can, try to show up as soon as I post a video. Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays at 1 p.m. Central, because it really does help support the channel in the specific video if y'all show up on time. So I appreciate the support as always, Heart Squad. We got new Galar mini tins, mini pal tins is what they are officially called. Here's an example of the first one. Now you are saying Scorbunny and Pikachu's tail. I find it funny that Pikachu just has to be on everything no matter what. Here are the backs of the tins. It comes with two booster packs. I don't know what the booster packs are. Hopefully, no Steam Siege. One metallic coin, you know, nothing too crazy. And then you get cool arts. Obviously, the coolest things about these tins are the fact that they're actually just coolly designed tins. And then you open them up and you are severely depressed and just sad of what's inside. But I'm really, really hoping that there's gonna be some cool stuff on the inside for these specific ones. Like I said, there are five in all, and I'm gonna be opening them up all today for this video. Wow! Look at that! There's actually up-to-date packs. Who would have thought it would be appropriate to put Sword and Shield packs in the new Sword and Shield mini tins? Because you didn't see that in the past ones. Before we look at the rest, Here's the coin. I really, really would have been cool if this was the coin of all three of the Gala Region starters. I thought that would have been really cool. They did that for the chest, the collector chest. That came out as well this week. And if you want to check me opening up, it's already up. It's right over here in the eye. It had a really, really cool coin. So that's the coin. Is that an evolutions? Don't be an evolutions. Please don't be an evolutions. Or please let me get it out. Oh, it's an evolution. So they put XY packs before we get to that. Just so y'all know, Pokemon has so, so many excess XY evolutions packs in stock or inventory that uh, it's like you can't even just give these things away. So I'm happy about the Sword and Shield pack. Once we get into the other mini tins, we'll see if there's other packs. Uh, because if you take a look at the back, it actually does say right here that Pokemon Sun and Moon series packs. So there could be not just XY packs or Sword and Shield packs. There could be other ones as well from the other Sun and Moon sets. So there is what uh, the final product is gonna look like, at least the design goes. It's pretty cool, nothing too crazy there. There's some information. It's only one foot tall, but it weighs just under 10 pounds. What if it likes eating lots of carrots? It's gonna be a much heavier than that. A warm up of running around gets fire energy coursing through its, this Pokemon's body. You can collect all five artworks. Well, I'm gonna show them all today, and there it is in the back. I'll put that in the back, because that looks kind of cool like that. Ooh, I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Let's get into these uh, two packs, and then we'll get into the rest of the four. I also have some, a special booster box that I'll be opening up in this video as well. So definitely, guys, stick around. It's going to be a lot of fun today. There's no guess the energy, uh, but let's see what we can do in this first pack. And a simple reminder, do not miss tomorrow's video. Guys, don't miss Saturday's video. That's tomorrow's video. It's going to be... A lot of fun, I guarantee it. So, oh, look at that. That is one of, if not the best card you want to pull from an, X, an XY Evolutions pack, or just Evolutions pack. I don't know why I keep saying XY. A reverse rare holographic Charizard. These are more difficult to pull than the actual holographic Charizard. So if you pull a reverse rare one, you are doing well. But let's see. Farfetch'd loves the stick. But that is an actual, for even it being in, look how it's like, the, my new light shines on the card very, very nicely. I love that. You can see the rainbow in it. Reminds us of, hopefully, the rainbow rare Charizard and breaks in cards. 
That's beautiful. That is actually makes me very, very happy about that. And now we're getting into the Sword and Shield pack. For Sword and Shield, obviously the cards you want to pull, well, for me, now it's basically just needing to pull the Golden Zashian. Four cards, guess the energy. I want to go with Psychic and get it wrong like always. Uh, but yeah, yesterday's video, I pulled one of the best cards from Sword and Shield. There was a lot of stuff that happened in yesterday's video. Like I said, it's right over here in the eye. If you missed it, the new Sword and Shield collector chest was a lot of fun to open up and all the other packs that I opened and I did pull one of the best cards from Sword and Shield. Wooloo, Bisharp, I see something. Is it just a Celebi V? Not too crazy of a V ultra rare card, but a lovely, lovely mini tin to start things off. That was the Scorbunny one. Let's keep up with the Gala Region starters. Here is, well, let me get rid of the plastic wrapping on it so I can at least show you the full tin without there being a glare from the lighting. All right. I just want to say a little pats on back mini one, mini one, you know, in honor of the tins, uh, because I was able to get the wrapping off really fast. Now, if you take a look at this terrible job of gluing that on, that's like so lazy. Let's uh, just, just in case you didn't know, yeah, there's the artwork in full on the backs of the tins. That's why I think these tins are very cool, and I always save them. But then again, you're gonna see, be seeing a lot of these tins in like the clearance sections at like Target and stuff whenever we're avail like actually able to go out again because eventually these, you know, they're, they make good little like stocking stuffers and stuff. Stuff, stuffers, stuff, all right. Alliterations, there's another coin. It's the exact same one. Let's see, I don't want any more. Oh, so it's another Evolutions and I believe it's the same artwork as before and just so I can show you the back of this. Hashtag Grookey Gang. Who else is in the Grookey Gang out there? All right, here we go. Height, one foot once again. They're all the same height. Oh, he's a, must be the tail or all the bananas Grookey eats because it's 11 pounds compared to the 9.9 .9 of Scorbunny. When it uses its special stick, okay, we're just gonna move on from that. So there is that one. Let us put this over here. Oh. I throw everything over there and it just makes a lot of noise and then I go organize it after the opening but for speed purposes of getting through the openings I usually toss everything over here that's why it's loud all right this is a sword and shield pack I'm gonna say lightning for the guest the energy okay great start everybody Galarian Linoon CK I'm actually very very happy about the first mini tin guys Great Valley Squirtle Rhyhorn Rookity Krabby, Rhydon, and a Sinchino. So non-holographic for, th for that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my call in. I think we're gonna pull, uh, keep the Charizard train going. And we're gonna pull a Mega Charizard EX Full Art. Gotta remember to say EX. All right, it's some base set nostalgia. Let's see what we can do in this one. Nidorino, Voltorb, Dig, Caterpie, Poliwag, Pikachu, Onyx, and there goes my call. I probably should not have made that call. <laughs> probably not. All right, the final starter. Of course, we got Sobble looking very, very sad. Oh, there's a Rookity. That's pretty cool. I also forgot to mention, I'm sorry about that. In the Grookey tin, there were some Wooloos that were around. There were some Wooloos that were surrounding Grookey, so it's really cool when you can just see kind of like the whole diorama and all the Pokemon that are on it. There's Rookity, kind of just chilling up there. Let's see if we can get some different packs. Well, the coins are the exact same, so how about that? Is it gonna be a Mega Charizard E? Oh, it's a Venusaur. And then here is just another look at the art. Well, of course, they're all the same height, one foot. Oh, wow. Sobble is uh, pretty light over here. When scared, this Pokemon cries. It's, wait, what? It's tears pack the chemical, what? It's tears pack the chemical punch of one and, huh? I'm sorry, sometimes when I do these openings, I just have a complete like, don't even think. When scared, this Pokemon cries. It's 
tears pack the chemical punch of 100 what oh my god oh it's tears pack the chemical punch oh my gosh see that's what happens when you do an opening super super early in the morning like i'm doing right now <laughs> even though i'm posting it at the 1 p.m central time it just Y'all are like, it says tears, tears. I don't know why I was thinking tears for some reason. All right, uh, this is Evolutions. Uh, unfortunately, I have no more calls. I would like to pull maybe a Misty's Determination Full Art Trainer card or a Brock's Grit. Those are pretty cool looking cards. Vulpix Energy. No, it doesn't work that way. Brock's Grit. Well, technically we just did pull a Brock's Grit, but you know what I mean, a Full Art Trainer. Uh, just so you can see from 110, we got this lovely reverse card. That is actually a great card to pull, and I'm very happy about that. All right, we got two more tens after this one. Uh, this is Sword and Shield, so we do uh, do guess the energy, uh, metal energy. Okay, it's about to be in fuego in here. Evolution incense, Salazzle, Bisharp, Gasserflor, Silicobra, Yamper, Krabby, Kufant. Rillaboom is a nice reverse rare, and Inteleon. Well, that's appropriate for the Sable Tin that we pull an Inteleon holographic. So our next pull of the day would have been that. All right, I don't know why I'm not putting the art in the background right now, tossing it all over there. All right, so we got a nice little Galarian My Ponyta. My Little Ponyta, look how terrible the glue on that one is or the the pasting of that that is not good that's not good at all and it's not like they just throw it on there and seal it up that's actually like stuck on there let's see if i can get that off yeah see they put a little like sticky stuff all right let's see what we can do in this one of course we got the exact same coin oh but it's a mega charizard evolutions pack all right let's do a little game here I'm gonna say Ponyta's like two pounds. Not Ponyta, big. All right, let's see. Yeah, okay, I'm way off. I have no idea what I was saying. I was meaning 20 pounds, sorry about that, but I'm still completely wrong. 50, almost 53 pounds. It's a unique horn po Pokemon. This Pokemon will look into your eyes and destroy your soul. No, and read the contents of your heart. Sounds like it's like a filing folder. What are the contents of your heart? Yes, it's a WD-40. I don't know why I'm saying WD-40. All right, so I'm actually gonna put that one in the back. I do like the look of Galarian Ponyta. It is really cool. All righty then, let's get into these next two packs and see what we can do in these. There's the evolutions code. Good luck to whoever gets those. No guess the energy, but let's see what we can do. Professor Oak's hint. Super Potion, that was a Caterpie. We can never skip Caterpie. Pikachu, I uh, forgot to say, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. We're fast approaching 900,000 subscribers. Nidoran Mail, Poliwhirl, very nice. And, ooh, look how nice that looks. And a Mega Blastoise EX. I know it's really not worth anything, but Blastoise is one of my favorite Pokemon. Obviously, Squirtle is my favorite Pokemon. And when you see a full art, it is just beautiful, especially in the light. Look at that. Mega Blastoise EX. I'm so happy the tins are actually providing us good pulls. I've opened up the previous incantations of these tins, and they've been all terrible, at least pull-wise pull for me. Like, opening up a whole case of them. Uh, the Sword and Shield pack, I want to say Fighting Energy, put your calls in, thank you very much. We got a Fire Energy, Salazzle, Doug Trio, Lady, Grookey, Shelder, Mawile, Ponyta, that's appropriate for the tin, Snorlax, Reverse Rare, and a Sandaconda Non-Holographic. Well, and then there was I technically don't know which tin this is. I, I guess it's a Yamper tin, even though more Peko is on the bottom. Uh, but we'll find out some more information once we open up and look at the little information card. I'm guessing, I wanna say it's a Yamper tin and more Peko's just kinda chilling there, but will it be a different coin? No, it will not be a different coin. And we'll look at a different pack. 
What if it was a Burning Shadows pack? That'd be crazy. All right. And uh, moment of truth, it's Yamper. He is basically 30 pounds. This Pokemon is very popular as a herding dog in the Galar region. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. And then there's just more Peko chilling on the side. All right, I will put that there. All right, let's see what we can do in these two packs. Uh, oh, I still have this one over here. I don't know why I didn't think about that. I'm sorry, these are like not in order at all. All right, here we go. And the other one's in the bin over here, so. Uh, don't, no, don't go nowhere after these two packs. I do have a special box that I'll be opening up for y'all as a little extra treat. I want to say, well, you can't say fairy energy. Rest in peace to that. So I'll say lightning. All right, water energy. I think, did we not get one? Oh, I'm more chances coming up. Mudbray, Honeyard, Scorbunny, Nick, Chin, Rotom, and Roserade. Okay. And Evolutions. Last chance to get a Mega Charizard or a Charizard Hollow. But we've actually done fairly well from the Evolutions packs today, so I'm happy. Pidgeot, Spirit Link, Poliwhirl, Full Heal, Poliwag, Ghastly, Magnemite, Seal, Charmander, Staryu, and another Arcanine. Well, those were the Galar Region Mini Tins. Here's what I'm opening up next. Yes! Above all odds, Leonhard will be opening up a Unbroken Bonds booster box, or at least as many as I can until time allows. This box is in honor of us trying to pull the Hyper Rare Blastoise, and it is from Brendan, who gave us this note. Hi, Leonhard. I love your videos. You are one of my favorite YouTubers. I'm eight years old, and he lives in Canada. Cheers, Brendan. Well, thank you so much. He sent a few other boxes as well that we'll be getting to in the future. But for now, I'm like, a lot of y'all, and I mean a lot of y'all, are wanting me to pull the Hyper Rare Blastoise, which I have not pulled. I've pulled now the Charizard. Ow, I scratched myself, boo boo. I, I pulled the Hyper Rare Charizard twice in a matter of three days. And that was after going well over 4,000 packs of Unbroken Bonds before pulling it or like 11 months. And now it is time that we need to pull the Hyper Rare Blastoise. Because now that is ridiculous that we haven't pulled that one. But this is some broken bonds. It's actually a pretty, like, it's actually a fun set to open. Psychic energy. Oh, welcome back. Fairy energy. Uh, strictly because it has lots of fun commons and uncommons that we can pull that are near and dear to all of our HARTs. There's a reverse rare vial plume and a meow stick. The good thing about these uh, opening up the box as opposed to the single blister booster packs or three pack blister packs from the stores is that you should be almost guaranteed like you know you're gonna pull something nice water energy can we get a guess the energy please but you're pretty much almost certain that you're gonna get something nice in a box at least one thing but they're not all guaranteed can we get a golden no sandy and a volcanian holographic so our first hollow of the box once again thank you so much brendan for sending us this box so we can try to pull that blastoise lightning energy there we go pats on back my hand i can't even reach that far all right you're more than welcome you know to give yourselves pat on back as, as well just in case you, you know you're playing at home seal bell sprout sandy and a venom off gx imagine just imagine if we can somehow pull not only the Blastoise, but the Hyper Rare Charizard again. Four cards, Leaf Energy. Lightning is the name of the game today, I guess. That would be, that would be pretty crazy. Got any? Glamour Ekans, hashtag Glamour Ekans. Carvana, na na na. Can we get a Drowsy? Oh, Rhyhorn and an Arbok. I think like the most times, like the most Pokemon that I've pulled that have like sayings or phrases for them have been like three in one pack. But still want to get like four. That would be cool. Lightning. I don't know why I said lightning again. I'm sorry about that. Cleffa, Happiny, Aaron, Seal, Bellsprout, Ghastly, Carvana, na na na, Ghastly, and a Sea King. All right. Simple reminder, you don't want to miss tomorrow's video. 
It is gonna be fun. That's why you should hit that notification bell, everybody, just in case you haven't already. Fairy energy, it uh, will be a reminder, even though I post new videos at 1 p.m. Central, uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturday, and Sundays. It's gonna be a fun time tomorrow. Darumaka, Slowpoke, and a Crocodile non-holographic rare. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be fun. We've got we've got lots of chase cards that we're wanting to pull, like the hyper rare Charizard and Brakeson, the Lightning Energy, the Golden Legendary Dog Zashian or Wolf or whatever you want to call it, Meowth, G, Hori, Froki, Happiny, and a Greninja in Sora GX. Lovely, lovely hyper rare card. It is not the Charizard, or especially, it is not the Blastoise. But that being said, there's still lots of pools to go in this box. Fire Energy, War Turtle, Gloom, Haunter, Spitzy, Lickitung, Venonat, Spiro, Jiggly, Clefairy, and a never ending story full art. Celestela GX. That one's pretty off center there, but. And it's not too crazy valuable of a card or anything, but it does look very nice, especially in the light. Four cards, water energy. We've gotten one guessing energy today, so I'm actually fairly ecstatic that we've finally gotten one. It took a while. It definitely took a while, but we finally did. Godney, Diglett, and a Clefable non-holographic. There is one more new product that is uh, that is out. I. We'll be doing a video on that on Sunday, Fairy Energy. So you can look out for the final new Pokemon product, but otherwise, uh, tomorrow's video is a big video. Big, big, big video. Spritzy! Oh, Glamorakins! Hashtag Glamorakins. That's a reverse style. Uh, it's gonna be fun, and uh, I hope y'all can make it, uh, especially on time, like right when I post it, because like I've said before, the state of how things are online-wise on YouTube, uh, Leaf Energy, especially this month, is pretty worrisome for creators of all sizes. So I do appreciate the support, as always, of just coming and watching my videos. Samsung, and a Russia Ram and Charizard GX. Beautiful artwork by Mitohiro Arita, the original illustrator for the base set Charizard. And his great work continues with that one. Alrighty then. Maybe it's a sign we'll get another hyper rare in a box. Lightning energy. Fire crystal, devolution spray, Z, Crabrawler. But I don't know why I'm like focused on the Charizard. I, I'm, I should be focused on the Blastoise. And also getting a drowsy sitting in a tree. Why have we not pulled the drowsy sitting in a tree here? We need to. It needs to be done. All right, uh, I'm gonna say water energy. Okay, lightning energy. Play with my heart like that. Graveler. Cubone, Crabrawler, Sand Isle, Oddish, Zubat, and Incineroar, non-holographic. All right, next pack up. I feel like I always pull like a buzzswoll when I open up Unbroken Bonds packs, Fire Energy, and it's only a matter of time before we probably pull one. Uh, in this box, Grubbin, J, Litten, Froki, Venonats, have we not pulled a drowsy sitting in a tree yet? That is so hard to understand. There is the code for that. I'll say Psychic Energy. Samson Oak, Porygon 2, Dodrio, Diglett, Poliwag, Inke, Coolio, and a drowsy sitting in a tree. That's, that's, that's about it with that. I just wanted to pull it really, really bad, even though there's basically no significance to pulling that card. <laughs> But I know y'all like it a lot, and you're big fans of myself pulling it. Uh, go with Lightning Energy. Now it's Psychic Energy. Porygon 2, Metapod, Rhyhorn, Meltan. Whoop, there it is. Sandy, Agron, and a Victory Bell. Nana Holographic. All right. Very cool artwork pack for this one. Pulls have been decent, actually, for this box. Lightning Energy. But let's see if we can just amp it up a little bit. Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, Oddish, Miss, Salandit, Glammeow, Snorlax, and a Doug Trio. He pitched. Machamp and Marshadow Pack. There is the code for that. Uh, I'll go with Fire Energy for the Guest the Energy, okay? 
I haven't said Dark Energy, that is one I should probably say. Growlithe, Ghastly, Togepi, Pikachu, Murkrow, Doduo, and a Mew! Very nice Mew holographic. All right. Next up, Lucario and Melmetal. Odds are we're gonna pull one of those too. Fairy Energy, there we go. Pat on the back. Poke Gear, Melane, Giovanni, Goldinus, Pass, Diglett, Slowpoke, Litten, Cleffa, and a Bee Free Butter Free. All right. First half of the box is about to be finished. I'm gonna go with Psychic Energy for the Guess the Energy. All right, water. We've gotten it a couple times today, so I'll take it for the amount of packs. Gligar, Miss. Glamiel and Agron. Well, that's it for today, Heart Squad. I appreciate the support. Big, big, big video coming up tomorrow, but in the meantime, more videos right over there. My name is Leanheart. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.